hello everyone welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's microsoft excel for the vba videos we are going to see that how can we use the if else statements in microsoft excel vba now we have already uh, written the formula for the if else statements in the formula bar in microsoft excel but in this video what we are going to see is how can we use these statements as a part of the macros now um, for that purpose we have taken some criteria on our screen if you see on this excel sheet we have a sheet named as sheet 3 and in this sheet 3 we have written something we have got some scores that are uh, that is around 10 scores and we have to calculate the result based on these scores so uh, we have to calculate these scores based upon this criteria we have given this criteria that is if the scores are less than 30 then we have to give the result as fail if it is between 30 to 50 then it's third division if it's between 50 to 70 second division 70 to 90 gets first division and 90 plus gets incredible result so this is the result we got to give so for this purpose what we are going to do is use the if else statements okay so let us start without any further ado first of all what you got to do is make sure that your vba editor that is visual basic for the applications editor is open for that purpose you can just uh, use the shortcut alt f11 in your microsoft excel and this uh, editor would be open in front of you then go to the insert tab to insert a new module and let's just rename it as if else making sure that uh, we are able to recognize that what thing uh, this module does which is if else now once you are in your if else you got to create a new sub procedure and this is also going to be named as if else now this if else would also be the name of your macro because whatever the name of your sub procedure is is actually the name of your macro itself now you can just press enter now vb recognizes this as a sub procedure so this was all the process that you need to do again and again and again to create a macro and uh, this process is now finished now whatever we are going to start is going to concern ourselves with the if else condition so first of all we are going to see the first test that is we are going to write just the if statement okay so uh, we are going to write uh, we have to find out the value okay of uh, the cell a2 that is if its value is less than 30 then you should give the uh, result as fail so this is the first condition for which we are going to check it okay so let's just write it if and then you need to use the range function why because we know that uh, in order to reference to any cell uh, we need to use the range function if range a2 like this dot value is less than 30 then um what do you got to do so uh, you have to use this keyword then which recognizes that the if statement is finished so that's the syntax you got to write if keyword and the then keyword these both are keywords since you can see its colors change to blue and whatever you write within these keywords between these keywords is actually your condition so if condition then you need to now write these statements which you uh, need to execute once the statement is true if range a2 dot value is less than 30 then in the range b2 you need to write a b2 dot value must be changed to fail so that is our condition that if this condition is true then we got to write this thing okay so let's see whether it is working or not and the reason we have uh, why i have given the indentation over here so that visual basic is able to recognize that uh, range is actually a statement within the if block okay then you can just run this okay so then what you get is a compile error that there is an if block without end if so that means like in the for loop we used to write next statement at the end of every for loop we need to write the end if statement 
and the end of the if condition to make sure that visual basic recognizes that where this is if a statement ends okay and then when you just run the code then what happens is you get no output the reason being uh, because this condition is false so if we just try to execute it in a step by step fashion then you can see this statement is executed and since its value uh, comes out to be false then what happens is this statement is not executed at all rather end statement is executed at once so this is the working of the if statement but uh, let us just see for some value which has a value less than 30 where this condition stands true that is in the cell a7 so let's just change to a7 here and b7 here okay now if we just try to run it then what happens is okay we need to just use it uh, in double quotes okay so we get the answer as fail which means that um, the condition is true so we get the output similarly if we just use it for a5 then also the condition is true so a5 and b5 and then we try to run then again this condition is true uh, now we have seen that what happens uh, with only the if statement that is whether the condition is true uh, when the condition for the if statement is true then the uh, statements uh, associated with it are executed but if the if statements condition evaluates to false then nothing happens so what we are going to do is actually try to take a solution for this problem by adding the else statement that is if one condition is evaluated to false then you need to do something else okay so that is the usage of the else statement now uh, before that you must note one thing that since we have written only one statement in the if block this doesn't mean that only the one statement could be there in the if block there could be a number of statements any number of statements that you want could come inside the if block but um, it could be one statement also it could be multiple statements also but you need to use the indentation over here and that's mandatory okay now once you've written this if statement uh, now what we are going to do is use the else statement so uh, let's just write the else statement make sure that you write your else statement before the end if statement because if else both are a part of if statement and must come before the end if statement okay so here you need to write the else statement and just write the keyword else and press enter then indent it so what happens is uh, you have to come out of indentation to write the else statement like over here we came out of indentation to write the else statement and then um, what did we do was just write the uh, statements of the else part inside the indentation so what are these statements we need to write range uh, and that is um, we are going to check actually the value of uh, a2 again okay so let's just change it to a2 that we are going to check the value that whether if it is less than 30 then you need to print fail else what you need to do is actually print pass we are not uh, abiding by the criteria because we are only trying to look at the usage of the else statement that whether the condition is true or false if the condition is true then you got to write fail else you got to write pass so this is what our statement is and let's just run it so what happens is we, uh, we get pass as an answer similarly if we just try to change it to something else say a3 then what happens is the condition again is uh, false so now what we would be doing is using the step into function to step into and actually try to look at how this thing works so use the step into function first of all this statement is executed and since the condition evaluates to false so we directly jump into the else statement and then the else part statement is executed because we have not given any condition in the else statement that is why whenever the if a statement's condition evaluates to false then automatically this else statement would be executed so we would be getting the answer as pass which is over here and then the end statement and the end sub statements would be executed so that is the if 
and the else statements in VBA. In the next video, we would be actually looking at these uh, if else statements only, but we are going to see that how can we handle multiple conditions through it. Right now, we only handled one condition, but in the next video, we are going to handle multiple conditions so that we are able to use this whole criteria part. So that's all for the video.